the Joe Rogan experience. I, mean, I can sort of understand that in a sense of like, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. Like I don't go for skydives or, you know, any of that stuff. It doesn't drive me. But that thrill and rush I get of, you know, darting a bear or working with a lion or doing, you know, swimming with an anaconda, like that fuels me for weeks. Like yeah. I, I, I like I get getting goosebumps thinking about some mm. of them right now because I get so excited by and it's not just for a personal rush, but rather, you know, we're doing it for work or whatever. But those moments mm. stick with me forever. And I, I, I sort of get that, but not like I'm just going to risk my life over this climb or whatever, you know. So what it's are your sort thoughts of different. on giant anacondas? Like, because there's oh, always boy. been this thing about enormous anacondas that live in the rainforest. So, yeah, there's fascinating. So I love anacondas. I believe... And I've got a colleague, Brian Fry, um, in Australia, actually, and he, he has a similar belief that there are 30-foot anacondas. Now, 30 is a big anaconda, but you're talking about those mysterious, like, 100 50, footers. 100 footers. Yeah. Okay, so take out the Amazon and take out anacondas for a second. Okay. All right? Think about where all the largest snakes are in the world. Okay? Florida. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> yes. But, um, you know, we've got all these wet tropical environments that, ha that house these yeah. huge snakes. In Indonesia, you have articulated pythons. You have Burmese pythons. You have African rock pythons, Indian rock pythons, anacondas, all these big snakes. Yeah. The only place that has a wet, tropical, humid, high density of prey environment that doesn't have a massive snake is the Congo, Central Africa. Mm, now, interesting. stay with me, These that area is home to some African rock pythons and stuff, but not big monster anaconda-sized ones, right? But during World War II, there was a colonel who flew over there, and this was a well-respected colonel. I'm sure, Jamie, you'll be able to find this very quickly. A well-respected, like, I forget, he had, like, his wings or his, his patch of honor or whatever, like, very distinguished, who him and his two passengers in the plane both reported a hundred foot long snake. They flew over it once. They're like, wait a minute, what is that? They were, they were Dutch Belgium in the Congo. Um, they flew over it once, went, what is that? And flew over it two more times to verify it and got so low to the ground that they said the snake struck at the airplane and all three people, the pilot, this well-respected colonel and the two passengers had the exact same story of this giant snake in Central Africa. Interesting. Yeah, and yet no big snake has ever been proven from there. But it's also a very poorly biologically explored area. Mm. And most of the time, when these animals get this big, snakes or otherwise, they're in very low... Yeah, here's the picture. They they're, took a photo of they it? They did. Yeah, they did. Um, they're in very low densities. So hmm. that's the real photo over on the left there. What did no, they geez. think it was? They thought it was a giant snake, a 50-foot long... So that's the photo right there? I believe so. Um, but the story's fascinating of these kernels... But they don't know like what kind of snake. They don't know if it was an no. anaconda or no. a python or... It would be an undescribed species because the only snake there, the African rock python, doesn't get that big. What is the biggest snake that we know? Oh, it says it measured approximately 50 feet in length, saw brown-green with a white belly, has a triangle-shaped jaw and a head... Three by two feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> a three-foot head. The photo was later analyzed and verified to be genuine. Van Leerd uh, claims that... Is that how you say his name? I'm not sure, but that was that was the colonel, Remy Van Leerd. As he flew lower for a closer inspection, the snake rose up approximately 10 feet, giving a warning that it would have attacked a helicopter if it had been within striking range. But imagine flying over and having a snake sort of lunge at a helicopter. Imagine a three-foot snakehead. Jesus so, Christ. Jamie, do you mind going to my Instagram Literally quickly? Literally swallow you alive Dude, easily. Look, look at this one. I posted a picture day before yesterday. This is 18 feet, and look at the size of it compared to me and how scary this snake is. Um, now, to think of, yeah, like you said, two by, like, you're like a, you're like an M&M &M yeah. to a snake that You're size. You're a tic-tac. Yeah. You're one of them chocolate-covered almonds yeah. that are so good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of that thing. That's an 18-footer. And oh look at how, God. granted, it's not three-foot by two-foot head, but still, that thing, you know. What's like, the weight on something like that? Uh, it was over 200. It broke our scale. Wow. Yeah, it was over 200 pounds. Wow. Indonesian villagers claim to have captured a python that is almost 49 feet long and weighs nearly 990 pounds. I, <gasps> I've, I've seen this. It's not there's no, It's not verified at all. Like, Do they have an image of it? Um, there, this might be the one that's on the tractor. No, it's not. 
Um, there's a fake one on a tractor that, that it's fake. floated around. Well, it's just very forced perspective. It's like a wide-angle lens, and the snake is right in front, but it mm. looks massive. But this is NBC. <laughs> this is NBC News. Let's see if it has uh, images of this sucker. So these are all like retics, and you know, there's there are what big snakes out fucking, there. Look at the size of that goddamn thing. Yeah, Jesus. So, uh, what is the biggest snake? Is it a python, the biggest snake that we know of? So the heaviest is the reticulated python. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. How big is that? That's big. That's probably it's probably twenty ish. So there's quite a lot of twenty foot snakes out there, and then there's a couple twenty one, twenty twos. But that's it. And so there's all these rumors of 30-foot snakes and 40-foot snakes and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And there's nothing that's been verified outside of one skin, I believe, f I want to say from Indonesia, that is like, but skin stretch. That's that the other thing, too. That says it turns out to be a tall tail. It says, when uh, Recreation Park in Indonesia put a huge reticulated python on show last week, keepers insisted to reporters it was 49 feet long, make it the longest ever caught, but that the find turned out to be a tall tail. Yeah. So how big was it exactly? I bet it was 20-ish. 21, there it is. Yeah, yeah, 21 feet. Still yeah. fucking crazy. It's a big, big snake, man. But not 50. Not 50. Was it, I have no idea why the snake has shrunk, said one <laughs> keeper when asked about the discrepancy as the snake lounged on a tree branch yeah. inside the cave. But things anxiety. do shrivel up when you catch them. Yeah. You know, like fish do. Like when you the catch animals? a fish. Yeah. Well, definitely when you tell people about it. But ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you show people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went fishing here in Austin this morning. Oh, did you really? Right Where? downtown. Literally right in front of the Google building. Oh, Lady we were Bird pulling Lake. Lady Bird Lake. Yeah, there's a lot of bass out, out there. Yeah. It was awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a great little spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really fun. Right in front of the Google building. That's right funny. in front of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the biggest in the world is the python, right? So they are bigger than anacondas? So it, it's sort of a toss-up. The reticulated python has been clocked as the heaviest snake in the world because they get fatter, but the anacondas have been clocked in slightly longer. I think mm. 26 feet is the longest ever recorded. Did you verified. ever see the Jennifer Lopez movie, Anaconda? Yeah. <laughs> the documentary? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. It's, it's such a corny movie. It's man. so good. The, the bad like snake head. Oh, if you watch it's it, so today. bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> but that was always the rumor is that there was enormous snakes in the Amazon, yeah. and that you know you just didn't see them. I I do believe that there are some megafauna out there that are yet to be found, that are in low populations. Like you, you believe in the sloth, the giant sloth. I believe that has a, yeah. and again, that's like the thylacine. It's a proven animal. It's been 10,000 years, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't be extant in certain remote areas. Same with some of these big snakes. Maybe not 50, because maybe these things are embellished, but maybe 30, maybe 35, right? Mm. And I just think that there are a few, not a lot, of these big things out there. If you're one of these uncontacted Amazonian tribes, of which there are still several, Pop, West Papuan tribes, whatever, and you're seeing a 50 foot snake, nobody in the Western world, we're not hearing about that. Right. You know, like right. those things can be happening and those stories get embellished and passed on and all of that, but we wouldn't even know until Western science gets in there. And it's sort of a double edged sword because once it does, it sort of ruins certain aspects of that, right? Mm. So, but I do believe that there are big animals to be found still.